God for these apostles, I'm sorry, call them apostles by the head, that have a problem with miracle money. You must make a comment about miracle money. And I began to, I made a passing comment about miracle money. Then I went back to my altar. I said, Hello people, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I bless you in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. How are you doing today? God bless you. This video I have to preach as an apostle and a prophet. Uh, Apostle Arome Osai. In this video, is going to tell us what he went through after he spoke against miracle money and how he went back to God, uh, what God told him, and what God did to him because of that. Now, but before we bring that video, I wanted to uh, listen to Hubert Angel, the man who is said to be the pioneer of the miracle money thing in Africa. All right. And um, he has been very, very critical and angry against anybody who has, you know, had uh, one thing or the other to say against his performance of miracle money. Now, there are some choice words that he used in this video, which I would like you as a Christian to pay attention to. And um, you understand that, you know, it is not really about individuals. It is about what, you know, each person does with maybe the grace of God that he has or whatever he has given to himself. Now, when you hear somebody who should depend on the grace of Christ, talk about him performing miracle, doing miracle, then you don't blame anybody who is looking at the person uh you know a second time and uh, questioning and actually arguing or asking questions whether this person is actually of christ because if it is christ that is doing the miracle if it is christ that is using the pastor the the, the prophet the apostle whatever you are the evangelist there is supposed to be some modicum of humility and taking inference from the fact that freely you received and freely you must give now what i am trying to emphasize there is that you actually received it so if you received it you don't have to be proud about it you don't have to pride yourself about it well anyway let me not speak too much let's listen to hubert angel address a certain miracle also that he performed i understand what i'm saying when i said he performed i'll see you right after this time out don't go away you are welcome to the end time truth television the channel for the lovers of truth for the truth of the end time so if you are a lover of truth give us a subscription and god bless you shalom is in the building prophet mm -hmm. i'm with my brother here prophet he was watching the good news mozambique prophet just watching just watching online prophet and he had this fridge uh, prophet which was not working for over a year prophet ah when we were doing gadget repairs miracle gadget repairs yes prophet so he had you in mozambique declaring miracle repairs prophet he just said let me just try this because i've got a fridge which is not working he took a bottle of water Put it in the fridge which was not working for a year and he left it in the morning when he came to check prophet the water was frozen prophet until now prophet that fridge is working prophet it's working it was repaired prophet by the power of the holy spirit it is isn't it good jesus can do anything i thank god for these apostles i'm sorry call them apostles but they have just because of the decorum in the christian world call people who are not apostles apostles that have a problem with miracle money number two have problems with any kind of miracle because they don't perform none but they say they performed many so their talk is what gives them value to their follower i did this i did this in ghana i did this in nigeria i did this where is the evidence our evidence is here we talk about miracle money it rains we talk about miracle gadget repairs fix the miracles are there you talk about what you did to a witch we don't have a video you know what they're using many are those who believe without seeing so they are guarded and protected by a script so that scripture protects them because it manifests in that many have been yet they have not seen the evidence we provide the evidence that's why you doubt why do you think we are mad when we say here is the screenshot here is the bank balance here's the pop when we do that we are trying to show you this is what they have presented to us and this is the proof of it they said oh they arranged the bank okay what about the cash they give them yes. so we speak to the bank manager of a bank we don't know now this person was watching somewhere else yes what's up that was um Hubert Angel there you heard the miracle and for me I'm not here to debate that I know that Jesus can do anything yeah I understand Jesus can do everything and anything and but then Jesus cannot do a miracle that will promote laziness that is just what I know he cannot do the miracle that will make somebody to become irresponsible and remain docile the Lord Jesus cannot do that 
all right jesus even had the power to make money appear in the place where he was accosted to pay tax was he needed to send peter to go to the water and uh, to get his hook and line and to catch a fish so what we are we are looking at is that there are some of these claims that are very very bogus in as much as we know that the lord can do everything he can do anything but he may not want to do everything he may not want to do just everything you command him to do no he may not want to do but has he got the power to do all things he can do all things all right so from here we go to apostle arome now but then before i talk about that before i go to apostle arome now i told you to pay attention to the the, the words now if these guys are serving jesus and one or two or more of them doesn't don't believe in certain things you claim that jesus did for me coming out to sweat over it is showing so much carnality and using it certain words that they have not done anything because they have not been able to perform anything now it goes down to mean that even the miracle money you did it yourself this one now that is being testified about the refrigerator that started working supernaturally you did it yourself jesus was not involved if jesus was involved you should leave jesus to convince your fellow christian convince your fellow servants a minister that oh that that guy is my servant i aided him in doing that but you, you see taking a swipe at arome i know he's talking about i about arome i know that some of you will say how do you know you're talking he's talking about arome you know Ar arome has talked a lot about how much you know witchcraft he has faced and in fact one of the crusades he said he went to uh in malawi you know terrible things happened there when he made mention of witchcraft they were already in the ground in the field and even his interpret his, his interpreter was afraid to make, make, make mention of what that meant in their local parlance and so the wishes advanced at him so arome has talked about them he has talked about them you know and uh, i don't even expect arome to react to this because even if they have the video evidence reacting to this to prove something becomes you know it, it will be like jesus falling for the temptation of the devil satan who asked him if you are the son of god why not turn stone to bread jesus could have done that and uh, if jesus was interested in show in showmanship why not he could have turned bread to i mean stones to bread but but you know the the irony of it would have been that jesus wouldn't have been perfect anymore it would have been recorded that the lord was tempted by satan and he, he you know he failed but he was wiser and so he eschewed you know from getting involved in the activities of the flesh now nobody has anything to prove here all that is left is that god will always prove himself all right so i don't remember not even need to produce video evidence now all that we know that is the bible says let your yes be yes and your nay be nay well anyway let's not talk so much about that listen to aramon's side his experience with god after he spoke against miracle money i was in ghana preaching and what was i even preaching i was preaching about the university of nebuchadnezzar the supervising spirit of my altar came to me and said to me you must make a comment about miracle money you were there were you there and I began to, I made a passing comment about Miracle Month. Before I came out of the place, the thing was spreading everywhere. And people began to attack me. Then I went back to my altar, I said, this thing you say I should do, it has generated serious problems. He didn't answer for some time. I kept on, kept on, kept on, kept on, kept on, kept on. When he answered, eventually, he reminded me of 2009 when I went to Malawi and in my sleep he told me that you are one of the fathers of the African revival. Alright? So when he came, he now said, you know I told you this. And part of the role you are going to play over the continent of Africa is to beam my light of truth. He said that persecution you are crying about is part of the signs of your father on the continent. So the persecution became a thing of joy. That hey, this is a good thing. You know the Bible says it was Jesus that said, "Give to Caesar what is Caesar's. Money belongs to Caesar." So that miracle money in your account, on this is extra scriptural. It, it makes God, it paints God in the light of a thief that breaks into the storehouse of Caesar 
to spoil his goods to give to people's account. That's not how God gives money. Every effort that involves money is supernatural, it's not a miracle. God can release favor upon you and you do something and it will produce something. And you will know that it, it was with ease because God was with you. But you must do something in order for that supernatural thing to happen. Are you still following what I'm talking about? And it doesn't, we are not, God brought us up in families where Christianity had taken root. We have a responsibility to the body of Christ to bring the truth at any cost. Are you there? The supervising spirit of your altar will tell you to do things that will make you look controversial. If you want to be in the good, if you see, you want to be in the good books of everybody, it means you achieve that by violating your supervising spirit. The will of God is not like the will of man. Are you ready to work with him? So I now went to, we went to one country in East Africa. Are you following? You know, no, let's forget about it. I have started enjoying, I started enjoying the benefits of that persecution. And I wanted to tell you one testimony, but I'm not sure if you will be happy. You know. Okay, let me add one. And this one I want to add is from the story of Obededo. Second Samuel chapter 6, verse 11 and 12. Second Samuel chapter 6, verse 11 and 12. I told you they were looking for someone to kill because the ark killed Uzzah. They decided to drop the ark in Obededo's house and they took off. And the ark of the Lord continued in the house of Obededo the Gittite three months. This guy was able to find how to please the God of the ark. So the ark became his altar. The supervising spirit of the altar was pleased. Are you there? The moment the supervising spirit of your altar is pleased, what it will bring to you is prosperity. Just, I said this to answer the question of the person that is saying, I'm talking about God, meeting the needs of God. We too have needs. I'm not insensitive to your needs. The moment the God of the ark was pleased, everyone in the household of Obededon was blessed. Your preoccupation is to ensure that he is pleased. Is he pleased? Are you ensuring that he is pleased? If he is pleased, then you will prosper. If he is pleased, then material and financial blessings will come into your life. Is he Do you know that that controversy, the miracle money and the defense that I brought for the gospel, for the truth? The wife of a president watched it. No, let me just please him please him when you please him he knows what to do to to take it. your you are your needs are not so big they are not a big deal he, he will bless you the moment he is all right uh that's that was it there i'll just leave you to uh give us your opinion and i think that that was a perfect explanation of what god can do and how god can provide money for his own now we know also that god can use anything and anybody at any given time depending on the situation all right depending on the situation what i'm even saying is that if this incessant performance of miracle money is this easy this pastor should do it every day to take care of their bills take care of their their building funds take care of every experiences that they they know they will make and it becomes easier for the members everybody will become billionaires you know everybody will become a billionaire because of course angels will always drop money in people's accounts big money well anyways um that's not what 
think about the video in the comment section i love you guys i'll be seeing the next video till then from i want to ask you to please like the video subscribe to the channel give us your support by sharing this video putting down your comment in the comment section share please i say share share the video share the video to at least 10 10 individuals and let those people watch and also share god bless you uh you may also consider joining our channel membership thank you so so much and god bless you. i'll be seeing you in the next video till then from me to you shalom Thank you.